everybody from the Extreme Science Theater at the Imagination Station, and it is time to imagine it. I'm imagining <laughs> an invisible wall here with Carl Nelson, the Extreme Chief Scientist. What are we doing here today? Well, you know, Halloween is coming up, and so we've got dry ice. Dry ice is just solid carbon dioxide. Okay. They call it dry ice because it changes directly from a solid into a gas. So it sublimates. It never gets wet. Um, it's 109 degrees below zero, so you Ooh. do want to wear gloves. And you know, if you're going to use this as like a Halloween sort of uh, decoration, um, it's great to use tall containers like these cylinders or vases. That way, it's harder for kids to get their fingers on it because it's really, really cold. Right. But you know, so this is changing from a solid to a gas, but the gas is invisible. The gas is invisible carbon dioxide. Go ahead and toss this in the, in this the little beaker, one in the flask there. Dropping it down. When you drop it down in there. You can actually see the gas coming off. Okay, and we're, it's, because it's so cold, we're condensing some of it into a fog at the top. Oh, nice. So that's pretty cool. I mean, that's a, that's a classic Halloween sort of uh, demonstration. But what we could do, something a little bit more interesting, is grab a few more of these pieces and toss it into this container. With pleasure. This container has water in it, Whoa. but with an acid base indicator. That's a perfect amount. Um, the water was neutral to begin with, and as that carbon dioxide gas begins to dissolve in the water, it creates carbonic acid. So if you've ever drinking a soda and you get that little extra bite from the carbonation, that's one of the carbonic acid. There you acid. go, and that would upset your stomach, potentially. Potentially. <laughs> I don't know. But, okay, so there's so many cool things you can do with dry ice. You can make these sort of bubbling cylinders and stuff. The only thing you can do is head to your home repair shop or store. <laughs> your and... home needs lots of repair if that's what your plumbing looks right. like. Right, and you're, you're, you get some plumbing here. So what have we got? We've got a container that's all sealed up. At the top, I've got a little screen, a little um, uh, cheesecloth. Okay. Okay, and we're going to juice that up with a little uh, soapy water. So it gets nice and soapy. There you go. And we're going to make some bubbles. But these bubbles are really going to be kind of cool because they're going to be filled with carbon dioxide gas. Oh, excellent. So I'm going to drop that in there. We're going to seal it up, build up a little pressure. And as the pressure builds up, we should start to see a bubble form at the top. See the bubble. We're getting smoke okay. rings over here. Look at that one. Yeah, oh, cool. That, that was yeah, just the bubbles on the top are like making. <laughs> that is nice. That was planned, Tony. That was planned. <laughs> now, I the love cool that. thing. Be with, our guest. Be our guest. With these bubbles is those gloves you have are really dry. You should be able to. Excellent. Catch them, get in there and juggle. Oh, I know you wow. know how to juggle, but just don't let the <laughs> bubbles pop. So we call these right. boo bubbles, and the reason you can catch them is those gloves are brand new. They're very, very clean, and you can Oops, actually kind of them. juggle them, and when you pop them, Come on down. you pop them, yeah. what's cool is that you get that fog Ooh. that comes out, that condensed water vapor. So yeah. a lot of cool things you can do with dry ice. Again, just be safe. It's 109 degrees below zero. If you put it in a container, use a tall one. Um, and if you want, you know, Get some PVC pipe and build your own contraption. I do like want this. to do this. <laughs> it's so cool, though. It's a lot of fun. All right. Whoop, whoop. I can only juggle maybe one, just for a short period of time. But if you want to come on down here to the Imagination Station and check out what Carl is cooking up in the Extreme Science Theater, they are open today. And the kids who live in Lucas County, who are age 12 and under, with a paid adult admission, get in free on Saturdays only. Thanks so much, Carl. I think we'll just hang out here <laughs> all day long. That is how you, I'm getting this one. Imagine it.